What's going on guys, Lucky Aces? I'm out cruising around enjoying this beautiful weather. As you can tell, I am not wearing a motorcycle jacket. Now before we go too much further, I would like to say that I, me, right here, this guy, am a huge, huge proponent, a huge fan of personal choice. I 100% believe that as long as what you're doing isn't hurting anybody else or impacting them in a negative way, I don't really care what you do. Everybody's free to make up their own minds, and that's what I absolutely freaking love. I'd also like to give a big old thumbs up and a big old howdy to my buddy Tim over on the BMI Shadow channel. Thanks for the inspiration. You know, back when I first started riding, I was, you know, I was one of those at-gat guys. You know, I was 100% gear all the time, had to have my helmet, jacket, boots. I got pants eventually, you know, but I always had to have helmet, boots, gloves, jacket. And those are in no order of importance. And then eventually I got riding pants and I wore those all the time. But as time went on and I got more and more comfortable with the bike, I found that I kind of stopped wearing some of that stuff. Now don't get me wrong, I always wear a helmet, I always wear gloves, I always wear boots. Those three at a minimum. But I don't really wear the riding pants anymore, I just wear like regular Wrangler jeans, which offer pretty much no abrasion resistance, but they're more comfortable. I never found a pair of ri armored riding pants that just were comfortable and they just felt restrictive. That was the problem. Like swinging my legs up and down, I mean, that was, it felt stiff. I didn't care for them. And that's a personal choice I made based on what makes me feel comfortable, what makes me feel safe. Because honestly, the funny thing is, the more gear I have on, the more I think about what could happen, I actually feel safer without it, if that makes any freaking sense. I also kind of quit wearing a jacket for the most part, unless it's cold. Because like I said, you know, I was all the gear all the time. I wore a jacket every single time on this bike, or even one of the other bikes, every single time until the one day I didn't. And it was just one of those swing days where it was kind of chilly in the morning where I needed a jacket. And this was like my freaking nice Aramid uh, gray flannel. Because I actually have like three or four different jackets. Maybe four, maybe three, I can't remember. And it was just way too hot in the afternoon to ride home. So I said, you know what? It's like five miles, 15, 20 minutes, no big deal. I'll cut through the neighborhoods, 35 miles an hour is as fast as I'll go. I'll keep my, my eyes. My eyes are up here, but you guys are down there. You know, just keep my head on a swivel, take it nice and easy, and you know what? It felt amazing. It almost felt like I was on the bike for the first time. And I don't mean that in like the nervous way. Like I said, amazing. It, it was just really good just to have all the air rushing around you with nothing, nothing between you and just the world. Holy crap. But ever since then, if it's nice, I don't usually ride with a jacket. Now, don't think I'm out here unprotected now, all right? You know, I, I do like being safe sometimes. Because I never ride without my Street and Steel uh, Anarchy leather vest with an Alpine Stars back protector in it. Because if nothing else, I want my spine to be protected. I mean, I break an arm or something, you know, it'll heal eventually. And, you know, you freaking land on your spine, break that the wrong way, somebody's going to be wiping your butt for the rest of your life, and I ain't trying to be a burden on nobody. I will say this though, I also always ride with a helmet, for two reasons. One, North Carolina, that's the law. I ain't really got a choice. Well, you can, you know, you can ride without it, but you're probably gonna get a ticket. And two, I wanna protect the old freaking uh, noggin there. Cause let's be real, you guys have seen me, I ain't the best looking guy in the world. And I darn sure don't wanna end up looking worse. As far as helmets go, it's always a full face. And that's just cause I don't want rocks and bugs flying up and hit me in the eyeball. I also wear prescription glasses, so it just makes things a lot easier. I will say, though, that I was cruising around with my modular helmet one time. I flipped it up. Oh, my gosh, that felt kind of nice. Now, they did kind of prompt me to buy one of those, uh, like, beanie-style half helmets, which, honestly, I haven't even worn yet, mainly because I don't like the way the chin strap sits. Kind of, like, rubs under my chin the wrong way. It's just not comfortable. But the point of this video kind of wasn't really to tell you how to think or what to do because I don't like doing that. I don't like being preachy. I like talking about my experiences, you know, my thoughts, my opinions, because everybody's entitled to their own. And it's about doing what's best for you. 
Because you know what? I'm not married. I don't have kids. I'm not really close to my family. So if something happens to me, it may not be as big of an impact as it would be for some of you other guys. And I'm not saying gear is bad. I'm a big fan of gear. Like I said, I'm also a big fan of personal choice. But also at the same time, gear can be expensive, but skin heals itself for free. That is horrible advice. Do not take that. So if you'd like to know more about the Street and Steel Anarchy Vest, kind of get an idea of the fit, what she looks like, all that good stuff, you can check out this video right here. And as always, y'all be good. See ya!